Welcome to the video series on multivariable calculus. In today's video, we're just going to do a quick overview of what multivariable calculus is. So we could say briefly that multivariable calculus is an extension of single variable calculus to three dimension and higher spaces, typically just three dimensional space. Um, and let's see exactly what we mean by that. So let's compare single variable calculus and we'll compare that to multivariable calculus and I'll just draw you a picture to see what we mean by that. So single variable calculus versus multivariable calculus. Right, single variable calculus, our function depends on a single variable. So typically you could say something like y equals x squared. y is a function of just the single variable x. And when we try to graph that function, we would need two axes, x and y, to draw that picture. So here's our friendly parabola. So that's the sort of function that we're used to in single variable calculus. Whereas in multivariable calculus, our function, which we'll often call z, um, depends on two or more variables, often just two variables though. So you could have something like z equal x squared plus y squared. And in order to graph that function, we would need three axes, x, y, and z. So here are the x, y, and z axes. x, we imagine, is coming straight out the page at us. y is going to the right, and z is going up. Um, and we'll talk more about graphing surfaces as we go through this video series, but for now, I'll just give you quick preview of what this surface here is going to look like. So we basically have something that looks like a bowl-shaped um, surface here. It's an infinite surface shaped like a bowl. So these are the kinds of functions that we're going to be dealing with in multivariable calculus. Okay, multivariable calculus really divides into three parts, so we'll just talk briefly about what those three parts would be. First part, differentiation. So we can talk about how we take derivatives of multivariable functions, some of the big topics we would see within that, um, calculating rates of change. That's something that we did in single variable calculus and we'll now extend that to three-dimensional space and higher spaces, higher dimensional spaces potentially. We can also talk about the idea of maximizing or minimizing a function. And I'll just draw a picture to go with that. So suppose we had a multivariable function. If we were to graph it, the graph would look like a surface. Could be something like maybe we've got a cone that's sitting like that, for example. So just the outer shell of that cone is our surface sitting in three-dimensional space. Um, and we could ask questions like, what is the maximum value that this function achieves? So we'd just be trying to figure out that height there. Um, and we could try to figure out also the coordinates x and y at which that maximum is achieved, for example. So those are some of the things that we can do within the differentiation topic. Okay, so let's look at the two other subtopics. So second subtopic would be integration. So within integration, we'll be looking at the idea of double and triple integrals. One of the main things that you can do with that is calculate volumes. You can also calculate areas, masses, center of mass, um, other interesting quantities like that. But let's just draw a picture to go with this. So imagine that we had sort of a bowl shaped surface sitting upside down like that, we could ask for the volume between that surface and the xy plane. So in other words, the volume um, sitting under that surface, for example. So we'll see how to do that with double and triple integrals. And then third part of a typical multivariable calculus course, this is the third and final part, is talking about vector fields. So let's look at that topic in a bit more detail. So imagine that you had a force field. Imagine that we were in 3D. Just draw three-dimensional space here. And imagine that at every point in space, 
we have a force that's acting. So let's just say for simplicity in this picture here, force is acting downwards at every point like that. Um, so within that same space, we could think about a curve traveling through that space. Let's call that C. Um, and so then we could ask for something like the work done by the field on a particle traveling along that curve C. So we could use the idea of multivariable calculus to calculate the work done on that particle um, by the field and traveling along that curve. And of course, we could vary the curve depending how we like, and we could vary the force field as well. Um, and we'll look at other contexts as well. For example, we could look at fluid flows instead of force fields. Um, so we'll see lots of different applications within vector fields. So that's a summary of what multivariable calculus is and the three big topics of differentiation, integration, and vector fields. Thanks for watching.